heavy? That's, that's a little heavy. <laughs> Ooh, you got one? The motor keeps going off. Voila. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna go out fishing for shad on the American River in this boat. The only problem is my wife took the car so not sure how we're gonna get the boat down to the river. It's not huge, but uh, we're gonna have to get creative here. I'll check back in in a second. We really wanna take out the boat to get some shad, but like I said, the car's not here, so we're gonna just do this, uh, I don't know, sketchy, I guess, uh, and pull the boat all the way up there, up the street, and into the river. We'll see if it works. Feeling strong today? Strong? No. <laughs> <laughs> Good? Yeah, how was that? It's honestly not bad at all. <laughs> you just out for a stroll today, Pete? No big deal, man. Who needs a car, right? You know, just walking through the park with a boat. No big deal. We ran into an issue, guys. These pegs. Oh, we got it? I think, I think we got it. <laughs> Is that heavy? That's, that's a little heavy. <laughs> Is it gonna fit? I'm in. If you... <laughs> we made it to the gravel, but now it's a lot more work. Whew. At least we don't have to pay for parking. All right, well, we made it. Hopefully it was worth it. Coming back is gonna probably be hard. All right, guys, we are off in the river, finally. <laughs> that was a little crazy, but we got good reports of shad in here, and we got a fly rod and a spinning rod for Mark, and uh, gonna swing some flies on the indicator and hopefully hook up, so should be fun. All right, so what I'm running is the bobber, the strike indicator up there, about five feet and then a split shot. And then I got this shad fly, or orange one, then a green one, and then the bottom one. The bottom one is this red guy. So right here, unfortunately, I think I clicked time-lapse on my GoPro and everything is sped up, but I really wanted to voice over this because look, you can actually see this huge school of shad. Check it out, you can actually see them all under there underneath that bobber. And that we saw probably a school of, I don't know, close to 200 going, working through this trench. And we couldn't hook them. We put our flies right in front of them. I just don't think we had the right colors or something, but it was really cool seeing all of them. Um, but you can maybe see the indicator move a little bit if you look really closely. I'm not sure why the GoPro got on, stuck on the setting, but it was really cool seeing them right in this crystal clear water. Check it out, guys. You can see them coming up right there on the middle right section of the screen and uh, really earlier too, there's a big school of them right here. Came up river because the prop stopped working randomly. We're up river, so we're gonna fish these rapids a little bit. We saw tons of shad down there. They're just not biting our flies. I don't know why. Let me know, I've never fished for shad really before, so let me know what I'm doing wrong, but like I saw the flies right in front of them and they weren't biting. Not sure why, big schools, big schools. So we're gonna walk up the river, the rapids, see if we can hook up there. And then maybe I'll look at the prop, see if I can fix it. And if anything, we could just float down river back and haul the trailer back to the house. But yeah, we're gonna see if we can catch some over here. But I was dinking around with the camera. So let's see if we can get that same fish to come back for it. It was right in here. Oh, you got one? Uh, no. Snag? I may, I maybe, I might have. Tangled? Yeah, I got if you want, I can help you. It's kind of tricky sometimes. Yeah, I'll take a look at it. Dang it, man. That was a good bite I had. All right, well, no fish over here in the rapids. Um, so we're gonna take the boat down and hook up over there. We know we're gonna catch one.
The motor keeps going off. I'm not sure what's going on here, but watch this. And now it's back on, so. <laughs> some, uh, not, not the most elegant fishing trip. Voila. Not gonna lie, I'm a little flamboozled. It's a mixture of flabbergasted and bamboozled on why we didn't catch any fish. They were right there, they were looking at the flies. Why didn't they like them? I guess just, just how it goes sometimes. Ugh. You ready for this walk? <laughs> yeah. All right, last cast here, and then I'm gonna move on. Sun's coming out a little bit, and I'm not seeing anything right here. I don't have great visibility, but it's no bites, and uh, I don't know, I just don't think my method's right. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna move on down to the rapids. I know there's fish here, but it's not working for me. So what I'm doing now is I'm just letting that sink to the bottom um, where I've seen the shad at, and then uh, I just, jig it in. I don't know if this is the right method to do, but I'm trying it. All right, nothing. Let's uh, move on, go underneath that tree again, move on down river to the rapids, or riffles, I guess. They're not rapids. And see if we get lucky. Today I'm gonna try from shore and see if I have any better luck. The access point to where these fish are is not really an access point. It's, I'm gonna have to like do some crazy stuff to get to where these fish are, to fish from shore. Um, and I brought the uh, spin rod, a lightweight, uh, ugly stick spinning rod just in case I can't cast to them with my fly rod. Um, I prefer to hook up on these fish with a fly rod. It's just pretty exciting. But uh, if I can't, something happens, I'll go for them on the spinning rod. And that'll be pretty fun too. But like I said, I've never really fished for shad before. So I'm new to it. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. I thought I would be able to just drift these flies underneath an indicator right by their face and they would take it, right? That's what I thought. But on yesterday, two days ago, yesterday, I figured out that that's not the case necessarily. So I'm gonna try and do some exploration. The weather's crazy. Yesterday was like 75, perfect, sunny, beautiful out in the water. Today it's been rainy, like 62 is a high. And then in two days, it's supposed to be 97. So that's California for you. But I'm getting to the spot. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna have to get pretty creative with how I get down there. So I'll focus up here in a sec. I don't know if you can see the GoPro, but this is like a pretty vertical drop right here. Ow, just hooked myself on a fly. Let's pray no injuries occur. I have no tread on these shoes. And I'm pretty sure I have to go prone at some point. If I was a deer, I would be able to take this trail over there, but I'm not a deer, so I gotta go down to the water. I think I'm definitely getting my feet wet. That's not that big of a deal. I didn't bring my water shoes, but that's fine. Okay. Let's see how we're gonna do this. That's gonna support my weight, right? Ugh. Ah. Alrighty. Ah. So last time I was able to get through this spot by going prone underneath it. Oh God, I'm falling. But I guess since that happened, got a lot worse. I'm not sure how this is gonna work. I 
I can fit through there, it's just not gonna be fun. I'll try to not get my feet wet. We'll see how long that lasts. I guess I could try to climb, no, if I go over it, I'm gonna get my feet wet for sure. Let's see. Put the rods in first. This would be a lot easier if I was like five foot eight instead of a six foot something. But that's okay. I'm not complaining. Ah. Ah. Oh. My right foot is in the water. But that's okay. Feet are definitely getting wet. All right. Now, we did see the fish right in here, right in front of these logs. There's no way I'm gonna fish here from shore, but I can get up on top of this log. I've caught some striper over here before, so I'm gonna get on top of this log and try and cast over in this big hole. Only problem is, if I hook them, it's a very high chance, very high likely that they'll break off on the tree branches, so. See, I don't know if you guys can see all these branches in the water. There's tons of branches, so. One thing that I've learned with uh, fly fishing, nymphs, oh here, here comes the rain, I'm not dressed for rain. But one thing I've learned, fly fishing with nymphs, when the water is fast and you're fishing fast water, it's a lot easier to see a takedown because the fish taking the fly, the nymph, is going to drastically change its direction in the water. Whereas when you're fishing slow moving water, deep pools with a nymph, it's a lot harder to see a takedown. It's a lot more subtle. It could just be a tiny little nudge of the indicator because there's probably more slack and the fish is coming in a little bit more gentle sometimes. So that could be bogus, but that's just something I've noticed. So when you're fishing slow water like this, deep pools like this, don't expect a takedown to be drastic. Um, but that's also from my knowledge of trout fishing. These shad might be a little bit more aggressive. Good day. Yeah, I was gonna ask you, you might know more than me. I did the same thing as you, drift them, drifted them underneath the strike indicator and they were just looking at it. They weren't biting. I was wondering if I was doing something wrong. Uh, maybe it wasn't the right fly. Just the right fly, yeah? yeah. But that technique is fine though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. As long as you're getting it like, you know, a few inches off the bottom. Yeah. They'll, uh, they'll usually take it. Uh, okay. Okay, because I was doing the same thing right in front of them, and I was like, should I be like working it back in or something? Nah, <clears throat> if you're just indicated fishing, it's just like you fishing. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, no worries, bro. Good luck. Thanks. It's always easy to break a rod doing this. You're looking at your feet. You don't realize where your rod tips are. They get stuck in the ground or in a tree and you bend them and snap them. So just be careful. Especially if you got like a hundred dollar rod or something. All right, we made it.
want to take this time as I'm catching my breath to uh, plug my wife's YouTube channel, Christine's Greens. Check it out, guys. She literally just posted her first video, uh, I think, yesterday, and uh, it's pretty good. Uh, she's a gardener and lifestyle, sustainable gardening, vegetables, and food, and all that kind of stuff. And it's a really cool channel. I help her out with it, but check it out. You'd be one of her first subscribers. We'd really appreciate it. It's a pretty cool channel. But I'm gonna go down here in the water and uh, check to see if there's any shad that I can hook up underneath the indicator. But uh, don't forget to check out my wife's channel, Christine's Greens, and uh, let's go catch some shad. Yeah, it's a little rainy, but it's still a beautiful day. Sun coming in and out. Just been out here for about 30, 45 minutes so far. I gave that spot a uh, worthy try. Sorry, just looking out here to see if I can see any shad in the water. But yeah, I'm gonna do some more research and see what I'm doing wrong and how to do it better um, to figure out how to catch those shad. Alrighty folks, well I've switched to the more standard way of fishing for shad, which is swinging flies. I've put on a, a new leader sinking tip. I got a couple flies on here. I'm gonna go back to this, I'm gonna go back to the spot that's pretty sketch to get into and see if the school is there and see if I can uh, fish for them a little differently and hook up. But yeah, new leader on the fly rod. Hopefully the school is there and I uh, make them itch for a fly. Got a green one and a red one. Let's get lucky. Got one guys. First one for me. Super excited. Literally just about to call it. Never had this happen before. Shad on the swing. Shad on the swing. I'm not trying to be super loud because there's a lot of guys around us, but. <whistles> Little guy. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Good. Oh, there's another one. Is he still there? Oh, two bites on that. Well, they're here finally, and they're eating what I got. I got this red, red shad dart, and then this like pink looking nymph thing. All right guys, I just lost three. Uh, my GoPro battery died, and you didn't see those three because uh, batteries died, but I'm gonna do my phone and try and put it in the pocket of my shirt, see if we can get these on camera and get them in. I just lost three. They're fighting hard, man. <laughs> but All right, down to my last flies. It's getting dark. Come on. Last chance. I've hooked seven fish tonight. Didn't hook any in the first 30 minutes and then I hooked them all now. So it must be a school just came up. It's a little cold, I'm uh, out here in just my shorts and Crocs in the water, probably like 65 degrees outside. Water temperature, probably like 50. There's one, oh, it came off. I don't know what's happening, guys. I'm hooking these fish. I'm tying my normal night knots like normal, right? Just standard clinch knot on these flies and I'm hooking into them fine, but then they're popping off and they're breaking my knots. Is it cause I have three X tippet and I need stronger line? All right guys, well, I finally managed to figure out how to fish for shad and I finally got some hookups, seven hookups total. Unfortunately, I was not able to bring one in, which is a bummer. Just got back to the house, I'm soaked. It was pretty cold out there, but still pretty fun actually 
hooking up on some shad and they were fighting a lot crazier than I thought they would, which is pretty cool. But yeah, guys, if you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, next time we'll actually get some in so we can see them. This is kind of a video on how not to fish for shad. But anyway, um, one thing I really want you guys all to do is go check out my wife's channel. She actually dropped a video this weekend, her very first um, YouTube video. It's on gardening, landscaping, and like just a kind of home lifestyle, sustainability, and uh, really appreciate it if you check that channel out. It's really cool. It's called Christine's Greens. I'll link it in the description and give her some support. This is her first video ever. So check that out, and um, I'll see you guys next time.